Dang, not we a are viable here option. Today. You know, for so many see, reasons. I'm up and this is why a safe and opened. effective vaccine is so important and the right approach to achieve right herd immunity. So, so let's look. Are let's see what Tesla doing season. today. And I'm, I'm sort of curious because part so of the Tesla, challenge of COVID-19 is that there is a an overly I'm robust down immunity, immune response within the body. Um, total it's almost body a little bit. It's like, kinds, it's like a respiratory Tesla. illness that also affects your um, the it's circulatory system. Nice. It's like, it like a, an, a, a flu, uh, but then it also is almost like an autoimmune situation. So because of this like robust so it was a little response. higher today. Can you still contract other things? Like, could you get both the flu and COVID simultaneously? Apple shares out. Oh, so you Apple absolutely up to can. And that would be, I got a, you know, I got a hundred shares of um, Apple. You know, I think which is one positive thing when we do talk about the flu in the setting of the pandemic uh, is that the same precautions I gained that protect back us today, against the coronavirus also protect on this. us against the flu and other viruses because they're spread in a respiratory fashion. However, I do want to point out you know, the, the direction that we're going, as I said, is not year. good. You know, COVID infections are going up, hospitalization rates are following, and then unfortunately so we're going to see up. deaths like increase here. Down. So this flu season is going to be particularly hard. And hospitals across this country yeah. are frankly nearing their breaking points. And, and I, this is just the beginning of our flu season. And so people need to be extra careful. Uh, our doctors, our nurses, our respiratory therapists on the front lines the are, are exhausted. And healthcare systems are already so, being man. impacted due to COVID because of limited amounts of medication. I'm gonna try to make this PPE video quick because I know staff, some of y'all, a lot of y'all actually said y'all interested in this. I made a post non on my community like uh, YouTube flu, right? slot, Heart and attack, 55 stroke, people said they was interested, which was surprising. As well. So, so you know we really have to get to some money making content for y'all, man. Salute to everybody care. still rocking with the channel, man. For real. If we have enough hands and enough supplies and beds to go around, okay. And when a healthcare system gets overwhelmed, so right now. It just gapped up. Help, help you see the price the it's at 426, so really 420. It, it right opened here. That. And if folks have not already gotten their flu shots, do it right 932. now. 932. Uh, doctor, practically speaking, for people who are worried, I think I saw a, a reporter that I follow um, say, you know, entering the season where when you get the sniffles or you get a runny nose or you have a cough, is it a cold? On. Is it the flu? Is it COVID? I mean, how would you know? Um, okay, yeah, how definitely would you know up. if you were just battling the, the flu and not Which COVID? I'm glad the one I had yesterday, I'm glad I sold that one. If I would have kept that one from yesterday, quite similar. You I think know, this as you ended at um, you know, 20 a share. It went up six, seven dollars. That would have been an extra. The cough tends to be a little more dry. I'd have been down about a, uh, an, an additional three hundred dollars. So I was down yesterday about two twenty and an extra flu, three something on top of that. So it'd have been at least five hundred and twenty-seven so dollars I would definitely say if I wouldn't have got out. Uh, definitely isolate, you know, from others. So I'm and, looking and for this price right here. I'm looking for this price to either uh, if, if show signs that it's going to fall I didn't know sneezing or that it's going to continue I just going up. So if it continues going up, I'll Dr. wait. But what I'm trying to do is uh, wait until it reaches its highest of peak. The flu or and then I'm going to bet that it's going to go down from there. Because usually Tesla is at its highest within the first 30 minutes to an hour of the market opening. After that, it begins to drop off. You see, it's back to 427 this year, 420, 428. It just hit, so it almost just broke a new high for the day. 428, let's see if it breaks this new high. 428, 76, 428, 80, 429, it just broke the high for the day. So, let's get this option ready, trade Tesla option. To reinfection. By and if so, for put, how long? I'm betting that it's going to go down. Is extremely complex. So, this is how you so this is not a straightforward bet that issue. Tesla will go down. Um, a so, the price is here at 429.90 a share. People who tested positive so for right the now, virus, and I they can were buy asymptomatic or had a put mild option on Tesla for six hundred. And what they did was look at the degree of their T cell response, which is a component of the immune system. I don't know. I'm thinking right here. I want to jump in. And this response was present six months out and was about fifty percent higher in people who had symptomatic disease at the time of their infection. This is interesting. Um, right now, though, it's, it's not clear whether this immune response lasts over the longer term, mm. so beyond that six-month mark, 640 and the strength bucks. of the response correlates to the likelihood of becoming reinfected. 
Uh, so it's, I think I need to jump on that. Let me see. Let's switch. Let's switch screen virus. real quick. Four two nine eighty. Four two nine eighty. It's still going up. Four thirty. But we do need much more. So yeah, this one you want to be careful with. You see, it's still going up right here. Okay, immunity. it's going down. Let's see what it does. All right, Doctor Shoshana Ungerleiter. Always great to have you, Doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up, it's not just the White House that Democrats are looking to flip. We're going to tell you how they're faring Let's back out a little bit. See how it's so it's still going United up. United Senate as well. Stick with us. You're streaming CBSN. Go to the ends of the earth right now. We got something crazy. Switch over to the five-minute chart. And still going up. The stars. Here we are. <laughs> Tom. Yes, it's my comeback. <laughs> Hey, this is pretty fun. Well, wait, there's more. Experience thought-provoking. So overall, this, it was in an upwards trend here. It, it went up, and right now it's kind of just trading sideways. Because there's always something new under the sun on CBS Sunday morning. COVID has taken the lives of tens of thousands of Americans. Rural areas like this here on Navajo Nation are especially hit hard. So it's at 4381, it looks like it's flowing here. In any indigenous reservation, there is a shortage of physicians. Native Americans are amongst the most vulnerable and hardest hit. So it looks like we might want to be yeah. jumping in soon. The more we soon. lose our elders to COVID-19, the more we lose our language and our way of life. Uh, I, I just bought it. I just bought it. So hopefully, Washington D.C. and United States citizens. Hopefully, this order either goes through and it was a good move right at this country. moment. Okay, it's at 429 a share. In 60 years, we went from about 100,000 factory workers to probably about 7,000. Off in the distance, you can see some factors. Trying to see, is it going to keep Most going up? 430. Kind of the restaurant industry right now is one of the largest I think we're going to get in right here, y'all. Let me and check and see how many day trades I got left. So you got to be real quick with this. States. Barely anybody's making enough to live. You were donating plasma to get by. Uh -huh. It's literally a slave wage. I don't remember growing up like this. It. My mom didn't have to go to food banks. It's pretty sad. Oh, uh, they want me to there. Even really oh, young kids on. are feeling they what's going it. on right now. How should parents be talking to them about this whole question of racial middle, justice? How do we embrace this moment and turn it into real change? What we really must focus on is moving from protesting to policy. I might have to buy it on my phone. Join Gail, Anthony, and Tony. Actually, it's good that CBS order didn't go through because the price is still CBS raising. CBS in Los Angeles. Get local news, breaking news, for anytime, anywhere. It's easy to find so us. So what happens is I got it here on my phone. I'm going to be paying attention to the price. CBS here on my phone. Los Angeles, streaming 24 /7. And good thing I did not buy it right then because it just gapped up. It just jumped up in price. And it's still going up. So I would have been pissed right now. You know, not too much, but I'd have been, you know, disappointed. Like, gosh, as soon as I buy it, it goes up. And that's generally what happens. So let's take a look how we doing portfolio wise. So So we take a little bit to load. Tesla's at 432 a share, so we will be up a few. Arizona as Tesla's ballots continue to be counted there. Share Joe Biden currently leads so that means Trump I gained a by total a very slim margin with more than 86% of the votes total. in. This comes as so several I protests gathered out, rather protesters gathered outside of one share. voting center in Phoenix That's last night. Thing. And I'm earlier, I spoke to right CBS News correspondent Jamie Yukis about so the, the protests and So the market is predicting a Joe Biden win right now. In the state. We were here as one of those protests erupted at the Maricopa County Elections Department. There was a large group, probably about 200 people, who came between here and the state capitol, which is about a half mile away. They started going back and forth uh, in their cars, and they were demanding that the votes be released. They think that the votes are not being counted, and if they are, that they're not being counted correctly. The, the protests were mostly peaceful, I do want to say that, uh, but there were about a third of the crowd we could see 
with our own eyes, did uh, in fact have guns on them. They were armed. Many of them had assault rifles just out in their okay, hands. So Others I'm uh, glad had that their concealed and carry or also, carry handguns I forgot to do uh, sometimes I forgot on to put a uh, their waistband. On we did talk to one so when you buy uh, man who, options, who was armed like and said that he was here never to do that to protect himself and the other people in the crowd and that it was his right to do that, which it is with the concealed carry permit here in the state of Arizona. So we did see that. At one point, the protesters, uh, besides is, chanting uh, to get the ballots counted and, and get the results out, they also did lead a prayer uh, at one point in time one in the week. parking lot. And then, as I said, went back and forth between here and the state capitol. Um, with tr they had lots of so President go Trump the flags. Set. They were very pro President Trump supporters uh, who were, who were here demanding that the votes get counted. What I can also tell you about this elections department, Anne Marie, is that they are very much about transparency and making sure that the vote is counted correctly. We were inside on election day, and officials showed us their okay, process, so uh, and they're saying it's slow because they I want this to be right. Left. So a couple of things that we learned while we were inside is that when votes are tabulated they go up into so a very secure wired system trades. into a locked so what room this on a server it's this never here, connected to the to internet so it can't be hacked um, so if I'm there's a dispute on the ballot the ballot is Friday taken is and just the so section that's being disputed is taken over to two Fridays. people a democrat and republican so that might to look be a good at time. both of those people have to agree as to how okay right now it's showing signs of it being overbought it's way overbought right now volume is lower price is going up uh, one thing that so, was yeah, concerning down, here when those protests erupted right is that there are a number of people inside trying to do the work at the Maricopa okay, County gotta Elections let it ride Office. Real quick. And they did last night have to be escorted by the sheriff's office back uh, to their cars as they went to leave. So the protest was peaceful, uh, but the people inside were uncomfortable enough that they did leave uh, with the help of the sheriff's department. See, and that just slows things down even more, right, if they have to stop and start back up again. Um, so let us talk about the votes that are being counted, because, you know, this election is different uh, in so many ways. So we have, you know, the votes that were cast the day of. We have the mail-in ballots that came in weeks ago. We have the last-minute drop-off ballots. Um, so give us a sense of, you so know, what 30, are counting If it hits 35, I'm jumping straight in. You know, people may wonder why we're sort of holding off on coming to a conclusion. We know that that depending on how the ballots were received, you know, sometimes Democrats tend to vote in a certain way, Republicans tend to vote in a certain way, depends on the county that they're coming from. So just let us know, what are they actually sort of counting now? Yeah, you make really good I points, and that is that exactly right what's here. happening here, is that everybody thought on election night that Arizona would very quickly get the results up, and there wouldn't be much, much dispute about it, because they were actually able to start calculating, tabulating those ballots, uh, mail-in ballots and early ballots, about two weeks ago. So they had gotten through most of their process uh, of those, but when people came to the polls and they voted in person, or they came to drop off their mail-in ballot, those then had She's to start being counted on election day. The process is taking a long time because of the verification right now, system so they go through. Each ballot phone. has to be looked at, signature verified, then run through the machine, as I talked about. Should if there are any time. problems, then it has to be looked at by both Damn, the Democrat and Republican and for them to say, okay, this is okay, let's move uh, this along. We were told that here in Maricopa County, which is the largest county by far in Arizona, uh, it's Phoenix and its suburbs is what it includes, is that they can run about six to 8,000 ballots and out. Oh, they so we have about 275,000 ballots right left. Now. So Yesterday, right now, they the had 450,000 ballots left. So the idea is that hopefully by the end of the day today, on 7 p.m. local time in. or 9 p.m. Eastern time, we should get hopefully wow, the rest of the, the, the information and the ballots uh, through the tabulation system and know where it stands. And the reason Maricopa County is so important, Anne-Marie, is so because there are so many votes you, that come you know, from here. Statewide, like there's that, about three points. Four million people go who vote. Maricopa you know, County you, so is about 60 percent of we'll that see, vote. So uh, most pre the presidential one. candidate would have to win Maricopa so County in order go to win the state. Now, four, the other interesting point with that 3.4 million number million. is that a lot of people have said, "Wow, this this race is really narrowed." If you look at it, you know, uh, vice president, a former vice presidential uh, vice president, rather Joe Biden, uh, had a really mm -hmm. wide lead. It's now uh, narrowed to about 68,000 votes. But okay, in this so that state. You only need one tenth 
percent of one percent to have a recount. So it's very, very so narrow. So with three point four million it votes, it says estimated cost that six twenty five. The price went down. I'm, I'm looking at my phone. Thirty four hundred votes would have to be between because the two candidates the, before the a recount uh, would, have, now, would, would happen you know, here. So that's what people are watching. If that narrows even further, so we don't hang on to it. The one thing about Maricopa County so that's also that changed like. we, is that down right this now, has been a reliably a Republican area. The demographics here have changed. So you've had a lot of younger people so you move in from more liberal here. states like California. Uh, they came out to vote. You had so you more suburban history, women show up at the polls who voted for former Vice for President it. Joe Biden. And then it you had the Latino population, which has increased here tremendously. So Just between 2018 and 2020, 100,000 Latinos had reached voting age. So it's been a big shift uh, in that See, demographic, and many people think that up. the majority of the votes will go to former president, to uh, former vice president Joe Biden. Right here is uh, but we'll have to see. So there's and enough, there's enough there to keep an eye out, and people are anxious to get the results in. So hopefully we'll have those by the end of the day today. Oh wow! See. This is what you got to pay attention so to. So that interview was just I tried one to go of out about I two weeks. On CBS and AM, and you but you can see, they did, I forgot when I, when I re bought this, Eastern. I made a mistake and didn't double CBS check this. So that's CBS why my data is so high right now. Because this is a, as well as this, this contract CBS expires access. tomorrow, which was completely stupid. Coming up after the break now, large crowds this was a, a big mistake. And pubs in England for one last night but you see, I'm up $50 right now. So this mistake might work out if it's, if it's, you know, depending on what it does by tomorrow. I can't sell it right now. If I did have day trades left, I would be able to sell this right now and exit out of this trade and take $58. $55. The That's what you're looking to do. You're looking right to now. get in at the price where crazy. you know the price will continue to move past. So if you think the price Here is going to go up, you want to buy it low yes, enough at a certain <laughs> spot where <laughs> you'll make money if the price goes up. There's more. If you believe the price will go down, then you want to buy it higher than that. So once the price begins to drop, yeah, see, I don't like this, but I'm glad I did that it was going to go down. Because tomorrow is a red day. So hopefully, Sunday morning. We do get it going down. So I'm going to pause this. COVID and I'm going to just come back to y'all before the end of the market close or somewhere like around this here. Another donation, y'all see. So you have $38, $35 in three minutes. So you can make $40, $40 in three minutes. You know, let's leave, let's leave, I'm going to leave it up for about another minute and let y'all just see. Native Americans are amongst the most vulnerable and hardest hit by COVID. Yeah, Jump in the comment the section, let me know if I find this interesting. You know what I'm saying? The more we shout lose our language and our way of life. Uh, it's a couple of y'all that we jumped in the comment section. We bring awareness to, to the attention of Washington, D.C. and United States citizens so, that there is a need to focus on the first citizens of this country. You know what I'm saying? That's not bad. You can, ca you can cash this out right now. $43 in three minutes time. In 60 years, you know, we went from but about 100,000 factory more money workers if the price, to if this probably went up about because the price thousand. of the share here Often the distance you continues can see some to go down. Factors that are still humming. So I got Most in at about 432.50 kind of ish, I'll say. The restaurant industry right now is one so of the largest So as long as it's under that, I'll be making money. I'm at $45 in four minutes. 43, four minutes. And yet it continues to be the absolute the lowest chart, paying right? employer in the United States. Fairly okay, yeah, so we on our way down. Live. So we got in at a perfect time. It would have been a little bit You're better. I knew I wanted to get in, get in at 435. It's if I'd have gotten in at 435, we would have been up about $80. So we'd have been up over $108. But it's all good though. We got in at a good spot. I Even feel that's, really I feel young that's a kids spot. are feeling what's going on right now. So now How should just, parents be talking man, to them crazy. about this whole seen question of racial nice justice? If, uh, How do we embrace this moment and turn it into real change? Make that we really mistake. must focus or on I have day trade because I would just jump out of the post with that 48 words. But Join that's what happens though. You make mistakes and you gotta learn from it. But we'll be back shortly. CBS and Los Angeles. Let's check get the portfolio news, one time. We can get up out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven thousand two hundred eighty-nine. So you see, we are up four hundred sixty-two dollars for the day. CBS and Los Angeles. Streaming four hundred sixty-two dollars and seventy-one cent. Eleven thousand three hundred four hundred seventy-eight dollars for the day. You see, it's going up. So if y'all been following my last videos, you can see my balance went from around 10,000 and it's gradually going up. Even though it was higher than this at one point, but we making all that money back. But make sure y'all stay tuned, rocking with the channel. Hit the like button. I need y'all to help me 
get this video boosted into Another the YouTube 750, algorithm. Another 750,000 Americans spot like for unemployment man. last week. That's down from the prior really, really week, but it, not but by much. Let's see where we at real quick. Is a test of prices just went up, so I lost a little money. He is here to Ooh, help explain what the new jobs report means for down the economy. Down You see so how that goes? You was just, just, we were just up 48,000 claims down 57. The numbers are still high. That's why you got to learn when to get in and when to get out. If you get profit, get out of there. Don't stay in there. Well, we're obviously, you know, very deep into this downturn. This is the 33rd straight week of the downturn since we really had the lockdowns. And that depth and duration is helping to contribute. Okay, y'all, we back quickly. I am down $212, y'all. I got a feeling this will go back down, but I jumped in at the wrong spot. It's at 439 a share right now. I want to jump back in right here. This could be a dangerous, dangerous mistake jumping back in again because I have to hold this one until tomorrow as well. But I don't see it going. Just hit 440. I don't see it going too much higher than this, though. So let's see. You got to make sure you check this date. Give yourself a couple weeks out. This is where I messed up big time. And you see now the price want to drop a few dollars now. If it hit 439, I'm jumping back in. So here you can see the, the, the theta, the time decay, everything. I don't think I got enough buying power. Nope. So I only got two thousand dollars available, and this would cost me twenty three hundred. Two thousand three hundred seventy five. So nope, I don't got enough. Cause I messed up and jumped into this other trade. Which it wasn't a problem that I jumped into this other trade. I just jumped in too early, as you. Cause see, I jumped in around this area, 432-ish. And as you see, it shot up on me. That's the risk you take. But I'm holding it. I'm holding it for a few hours towards, well, actually, I got to hold it until tomorrow regardless. So I'm going to hold it until tomorrow, see what it's looking like. Can't jump in here. This one costs too much. I'm just going to check it. And I'll be, let's check out the portfolio balance. So I went up, I would have been up some more. But this option right here is hindering me, holding me back. I've lost $180 on this so far, 177 So I'll be back to check in with y'all later. How many minutes has it been? Uh, 22 minutes. So I'll be back in with y'all later. What's good, gang? We back, man. It's the end of the day. We just doing an update, showing y'all where we finishing off for the day. And we took a hit, man. We definitely took a hit. So for today, we are down $327. I don't even remember where we were just off, where we just left off at. But obviously, y'all will see that watching this video all the way through because this will just be uh, stitched together. So we down $327. As y'all know, I cannot, I couldn't sell this today. I made a mistake on this one. This was a mistake. I bought this without enough time on it. I didn't double check the expiry date. So I just gotta, uh, you know, take this one high and go. But tomorrow I'm hoping this share price, which is $437, I'm hoping this drops. I got in at about 432. So I would need this to drop about $5 to get it back to where I was at. And then about another, I'm down 300. My delta is terrible on this one. 28. So I would need this to drop about, let me see, one, two. I 
I need this to drop about eighteen dollars, y'all. This is crazy. I need this to come all the way down to about four twenty, under four twenty, which I'm hoping it does. I got a little faith in that, so I'll check back in with y'all tomorrow. Be looking for the update. A1 gang, we out.